All right, let's get learned uh, things that we learned uh, from the weekend in no particular order. Watching the Miami Heat last night dismantle the Boston Celtics and expecting the same tonight from the Denver Nuggets against the Lakers. I learned that the big three era is over. LeBron started it. LeBron killed it. You only need one superstar now and a full team of guys that understand and accept their very specific role. You know what? And I think that it's going to be a new culture in the NBA. You just get five or six other guys to just go, come out here and play. And play Why are you well. shaking your head? Because I 100% disagree. Okay. I 100% disagree simply because you don't have, like, we're under – estimating how important and how valuable Jimmy Butler has been like you don't have superstars aren't all built like Jimmy Butler it works for him it's not going to work for a lot of other guys we've seen KD by himself well we haven't seen KD by himself no, we, not as a champion a lot, yeah, but, but, but but when we look at these guys they're not really truly built to be by themselves like their game is meant to have another wingman even LeBron even young LeBron, he was he could not get it done by himself, which is why he went and paired with somebody else. It's this is just an anomaly. Like we have not seen this in when's the but last it time we've it's seen possible, it? right? If, yes. you, if you have the right people building a team and you get the right pieces and you put this circular block in the circular hole, you can build a champion club but, uh, but team. How when, many superstars does Denver have? Two. They got two. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but we're talking okay, about one said, and some guys. That, okay, that's what I'm saying. They got two. Well, well Bam is a superstar, too. Yeah. Uh, but but he's, he's, he's been an all-star. Uh, he's an all-star. Well, okay, Fringe. okay. Jokic and who else? Murray. 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 Okay, he's been an all-star, so we talking about the same – the same way on both teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is. What it, what, it is. To me, it is. Uh, no, to me, yeah. it is. It, it really is. Bam, superstar. He's yes, not he a is. superstar. He's an all-star. Well, Mur right? Murray is no, not. Murray is not, is not a, superstar. a superstar. He's an all-star. Yeah. Murray is a superstar. He's becoming a superstar. Yes. Are yes, you he's not there yet. The fact, injury. The the reason why he if if he's not the reason why is because he's been injured. Okay. Here, here's the whole point. Whatever. We have, He's not a superstar. We He's have, a, a star. We have lived the last 15 years of our lives with the theory that minimum you need two. You might need three great players to win championships. You go all the way back, from my money at least, to the Detroit Pistons. And I know you can argue that they had superstars there. I didn't feel like they did Hello. when they won their title, okay? And now here you are with a team. And I'm not saying the Heat are going to win the championship. I know you're backing them because you played for them. And they're going to have a tough sledding against the Denver oh, Nuggets, no obviously. Now, if they won it, this is a crazy year. Maybe they can do it. The question now, if I'm an owner, do I need to go out there and find three max guys to win a championship? Or do I just have to hire the right general manager that knows how to put together a very good team? You certainly need one guy. Mm -hmm. You need a focal point of your team. Jimmy Butler's that guy. Yeah. I don't want to discount how good Bam Adebayo is because he's rejuvenated his entire career here in the last two months just playing playoff basketball at the level he's played. They also lost their second biggest scoring threat in Tyler Hero Correct. with the broken hand in the first round of the playoffs. So, what uh, I'm, you know, most sports leagues is a monkey see, monkey do concept. If they had success, I'm going to try to copy their success. I'm going to emulate what they did. If the Miami Heat do win a championship, and I'll be honest, even if they don't, the mere fact that they're going to the NBA Finals is going to make a lot of teams now say, oh, I can do it that way. But it didn't happen with Toronto. It didn't happen with the Mavericks. Everyone still got their big three players, and those are teams well, that won Toronto championships. Well, Toronto won a championship on the heel. Uh, they had one great superstar, yes, obviously. Kawhi. Dallas, you know, has they a dirt. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs superstar uh, there as well. It's not – there's no such thing as a guarantee, like everything's 100 to nothing. Right, right. But what Miami is proving that with a great coach – a great system. I hate the word culture. I think it's the most overused word in sports next to leadership. You show me a team that wins, I'll show you great leaders and a great culture. Mm. Show me a team that loses, all of a sudden the culture sucks and there's no leaders. I think we overplay I think it's stupid. Matter of fact, I think most people say those two words and they have no idea what it even means. That being said, you speak to heat culture, which is a Pat Riley thing. 
and Pat Riley has that quote that we print up there. Now, they don't win championships every single year. No. But more, Everybody don't. more often than not, the Heat are in the mix. Yes. Right. And that's because of the culture exactly. that Pat Riley insists on yes. when they go out and get guys. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I mean, okay. They, when, you, when you come in, it's a system that you go through. You know, you know that it's going to be hard working. You're going, you're going to uh, come in there and, and, and work on your game, work on your physical body, be in shape. And you know, it's there it hard. is, right there. There you go, right there. Why hardest, don't you read that to us? Hardest working. Hardest working. Best condition. Best condition. Most professional. Most professional. Unselfish. You see how these guys don't participate because right. they're you so did. upset with you themselves. You said we are not. Hey, go ahead. Most professional. Unselfish. 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 Toughest. 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 Meanest. Meanest. Nasty. Nastiest. Nastiest. Team in the NBA. Team in the NBA. That's it. That's that, culture. That's Lakers? culture, right now, there. Now, does that exist on like a rock somewhere on a wall? Or do you just have to memorize that before you well, play? It, 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 it's on shirts. It's on the. Uh, uh, That's a lot it, of words it, on it, one shirt. It, 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 <laughs> it's on the shirt. On shirts. And then, it, and then you have it uh, uh, not on the locker room, but it's in the um, it's in the um, uh, weight room. It's in the bathroom. No, it's not in the bathroom. Shower? It's in the weight room. Weight room. Weight room. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yep. Yeah, I would put it above the stalls. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. No. By the way, let me ask you a question. I'm selfish. When Miami takes care of business and knocks Boston out uh, tomorrow night, game four, and they go to the NBA Finals, you have your jersey retired by the Miami Heat. Is there a chance that we're getting a call? Hey, guys, can't work tomorrow. I was invited to be a part of the NBA Finals down in Miami. It could happen. That could happen. <laughs> it could happen. It's on the table. Yes. It, uh, okay, it, it if, I may, if I may, if I may. <laughs> if, if I may. If I may too. No, no, you stop it. If no, I no. may too. I'm getting it first. If they tell you if you're I a may. plus one, who's your plus one? My wife. Okay. Non family, who's your plus one? <laughs> Come on, please say me, please say me, please say me, please say me. You don't have non to say it. Family. You you, oh, you, I dropped my book. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to I'm not them. going to say it. Yeah. They're no. not going to put no peer pressure on exactly. me. Yeah, it I won't would... be one of them, though. Exactly. Yeah. It will not be one of them. It won't be, be one, one of them. them. Right. right. How exactly. does Tim Hardaway not get invited back for an NBA final home game? You've got to be there. How many other numbers are retired in Miami Heat history? Three, four. Well, I mean, Jordan's is, but that doesn't count. No, it's uh, Dwayne. It's, Dwayne uh, Wade. You. Chris Bosh, myself. Bosh's Shaq. numbers retired? Yeah. What are we doing? So. Chris uh, Bosh? Yes. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make no sense at all. Anyhow, getting back to things I learned this weekend. Chris Bosh, he's there for two years. The Nuggets are the most disrespected team in NBA no history. No question. Do wow. you think there's any chance that uh, LeBron James and Anthony Davis have been intimidated by the Jokic brothers in the crowd? No. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's even possible. You're I sure? I don't think that I'm they, 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 they did the game. I yeah. game. They, 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 they did the game. They did the game. They did the game. They did They look like Serbian mafia yes. members. Yes. Yes. If I may. Yes. Like, there's some guys you meet and you size up and you're like, yeah, I'll take a pass on this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. Them's a big boy. Yeah. Them's a big boy. Those are two. Those yeah. guys. Those two guys. Apparently, uh, nine-year-old Jack Nicholson was being escorted out of the arena, and one of the Oakridge dudes here was, here was like yelling and screaming <laughs> at a ninety-year-old yeah. guy. For real. And he's like, yeah. "What? Well, one of the brothers yeah. is as big as Joker is, right? And he's got like a beer the belly, belly on him. Right. It's he's like uh, he's like a bouncer at a Serbian bar. Yeah, right. You may not come in. <laughs> no, no, but I'm but I, I'm twenty-one. I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your money no good. No man. joke. He's like, yeah. give the man his money. Yeah. Right. I'm like, yes, sir. Yeah. You avoid those guys. Yeah, you avoid those I guys. I was in some underground card games with guys like that. Yeah. And, 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 you know what you, you, you say to those guys? Look. Yes, sir. No, sir. That's all you ever and, say. And they like they beer, too. <laughs> yes, they, they do. Like they, beer. they drink beer, they smoke cigarettes, yes. and they beat up 90-year-old actors. Yes. It yeah. is crazy. Yeah. No joke. No joke. But they, they, they better not mess with uh, Jack Nicholson. Nobody messes with Jack. No better no, one. Better right? Not. You better you not. That's right. Joker, man. You're going to have problems. How about this for something I learned this weekend? Despite the fact he doesn't get a lot of love for it, Eric Spolstra might be the best coach of a generation. Wow. Yes. Yeah. You know, he doesn't get credit for a lot of things. They just talk about him when you see him on TV. But, uh, you know, he's he's one to be reckoned with. He's he's right up there. He's going to be a Hall of Fame I think coach, so, too. Uh, in the Hall of Fame for coaching. Um, he's come. I, I'm going to tell you. When, when I was there and he was in the film room, I, it used to be a little small room and it used to be hot in there because of all the, 
VCRs and everything he had to do and watch VCRs. TV. VCRs, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, sir. They we played in the we, 80s. Yeah, we played in the 90s. Are you, are you one of those guys that you have one of those old school video cameras where you had to carry like the suitcase on your shoulder and the line was attached to the camera? Come on, kid, I, smile I, for I, daddy. I didn't have I did not have that. My my, my father had that. But I didn't have that. You know, it, 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 we had, I mean, it, it was something new now. You, you hold it on your shoulder <laughs> right. and do it like this. Now you can just a phone now. Yep. But yeah, but no, he. Um, you know, is great though. He's a great. He, he understand guys. Can he we put those players. stats back up? Yeah. His uh, you have his coaching record, guys. If you don't mind, seasons. put that back up. He uh, 15 years, yes. 700 wins. Mm -hmm. He's got two titles, wow. and he's won five conference titles as well. Yes. And that's impressive. the guy. And I then, want you to remember this. And you said it. I didn't know it. LeBron James wanted him fired yep. when he got to Miami. Mm -hmm. Thank God there's a guy like Pat Riley who was able to look LeBron in the eye and go, no. No. Because there's no. not a lot of no and, guys in his life. And never won a Coach of the Year award. How about that? Crazy. How never about won. that? Has never been Coach of the Year. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.